Okay, moving to our items table view controller file. And here we are calling our load items function. So if we jump to it, right now it's an empty. Um, now we can use our newly created function, uh, download items from Firebase with category. And our category ID is going to be our category. And we can unwrap this because we're sure that we have a value because we're calling this function only if we have a category. And I'm passing my ID here. Hitting enter, this is going to be called all items. And once this function is uh, receiving its callback, we can actually check how many items we have here. So I'm going to say print, and we're going to say uh, we have the number of items. So say all items dot count items for this category. All right, and what we need to do is to say self dot uh, item array is our item array here that we have global variable. Um, is equals to all items. So we set our global variable to be equal to our currently downloaded items. And once we do this, we need to do another thing to reload our table view so that our user can see all the new items inside our table view. So I'm going to say self dot table view dot reload data. So this will go ahead and refresh. Currently, we will not see any visual changes because we are not doing anything in our cell function, cell for road index path. But our print statement we have will print out and we will be able to see how many objects we have. So let's run our application. And let me just delete everything from our console. If I'm not mistaken, under hobby, we have some items. So you can see we have three cells with no information inside of it. We just generated three cells because we are returning the number of uh, items we have. And of course, you can see here that we have three items for this category. Let's go back and let's choose the car. It says we have zero items for this category under car. We don't have anything. Maybe men's cloth. No, we have zero items for this category as well. All right, so uh, the function is working and we can get rid of this print statement. What we're going to do is to set up our custom cell because right now we have this uh, user interface of our custom cell but we don't have any class that controls this cell. So let's go to our custom cells folder, select our category collection view controller, uh, view cell, command N to get a new Coco Touch class. And this is going to be a subclass of UI table view cell. And I'm going to call this item table view cell because this is what it is. So once we have the file ready, just get rid of this commented out lines. We're not going to use any of these, but what I'm going to do is um, connect my user interface to my uh, newly created view con uh, controller. So we need to open our assistant editor and we're going to do this option, click on the file that we want to open. So now we have, let me just close the panels here. Um, and I think we're going to use this one here because this is more accurate. So I need to connect four things here, an image view and three labels. I'm going to start with my image view. So control drag. Okay, we cannot do this because I forgot to set the file that is going to con control this class. So uh, make sure you have the cell selected. The class should be item table view cell. Hit enter. 
and now we should be okay and uh, I can select my item uh, image and now we can uh, control drag there and this is going to be item image view then we are going to use the name which is going to be our name label then we have the description label right under our name and finally we have the price so let's just grab this one as well so we have price label okay we have uh, four uh, con outlets connected so I'm going to put a mark here call this IP outlets just to keep our code cleaner and actually we are done with our assistant editor and that we can get back to our file only. So this file is going to have one function, just similar to our category collection view cell, we're going to have a generate cell function, which is going to take an item and sort it out nicely to complete our images and other labels. So I'm going to say uh, func generate cell and of course we need to pass an item here which is an item and it doesn't return anything so once we have our item we're going to set our uh, name label dot text is equals to item dot name then we have description label dot text is equals to item dot description um, the price uh, price label dot text is equals if we say item dot price this is a double and the text of course accepts to uh, receive a string that's why it's complaining uh, the, the thing we are going to do now is just to convert this into string but later on I'm going to convert this into a uh, nicely generated uh, currency with the number proper so for now we are going to just put this this way so we have our uh, double converted into a string then uh, what we need to do is to check our image links and to download every image uh, from our fire store but uh, we're going to get only the first image because um, here we just have one image view uh, let's go here and we cannot display every image so we're going to have only one of the images so I'm going to uh, put a to do here and call this download image and for now we are just going to jump to our items table view controller scroll to our cell uh, DQ reusable cell here and what I want to do uh, before we can actually use the generate cell function we need to specify that this is item table view cell otherwise we will not have access to that function so once we do have access uh, specified that this is uh, items table view cell and say cell dot generate cell with item and here we can access our uh, items which is item array and we need index path dot row so we return the specific item for this uh, for this row so let's rerun our code and we should be able to see now the name the description and the price of each item so we have bike okay the price is kind of long one here let me just jump it and fix it there real quick do this we should get rid of our optional yeah so we have bike description none of them have description so it just they have actually description which is just says description and we have the price uh, of each one so clearly it works properly 
our image is not set yet but we are going to work on it in our next lecture